Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Guzman with you today. I'm going to be going over one of the math lessons this week. In math this week, we are learning about financial literacy. That means you are learning skills that are helping you manage money and learn how to make good decisions about spending your money and saving your money. I'm going to talk with you about responsible and irresponsible choices with your money. When someone is responsible, we know that they are able to be trusted and you do what is right. When you're spending and saving and lending, when you're being responsible, you are doing what is right with your money. Now the opposite of responsible is irresponsible. Irresponsible means we're not showing a good sense of responsibility. We're not making a good choice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over some different scenarios and we're going to talk about it. Is it irresponsible or responsible? Brantley wants to be cool. He asks his parents to borrow money to buy things only other kids like. Let's think about that. He wants to borrow money from his parents. He doesn't have any money saved. It doesn't say he has any money. So would that be responsible or irresponsible? That would be irresponsible irresponsible that would be irresponsible let's try another one i got fifty dollars for my birthday I use it to fix my bike so I can get to school. Okay, if you have $50 for your birthday and you're using it to fix your bike to have a way to school, that would be a responsible, a responsible choice. Let's try another one. Joshua borrows $60 from his best friend for a video game. He doesn't know how he will get the money to pay him back. First of all, he's borrowing $60 for a video game. A video game is not a need, it's a want. And he doesn't know how he can pay him back. So that's definitely going to be irresponsible irresponsible he's not being responsible okay let's try one more together and then I'm gonna go over the one that you're going to be doing Calvin helps his dad with his Newspaper delivery service. Calvin has saved all of his money. He only needs one dollar more for the toy he wants and it is on sale. He borrows the money from his dad. Let's think about it. Would it be responsible or irresponsible? He helps his dad with his delivery service. We know he's responsible because he's saving money. And he has saved all his money so far. We want to buy stuff if it goes on sale because we're getting a better deal with our money. And he only needs one dollar. So that would be responsible. Responsible. That's a responsible choice. If you're lending money, saving money, spending money, he's being responsible. Oh, 
right, let's talk about the one that you're going to be going over today. All right, so this is a grade today. So I want you to read it. Read it with Miss Guzman. Lily borrows money from her friend Gabrielle to buy a book. Instead, she spends it on a bunch of snacks at the carnival. So I want you to think about it. Does it say Lily has any money saved? Is she going to be able to pay Gabrielle back? Is she buying something that is a need? Think about those things when you're trying to decide if that one is going to be responsible or irresponsible. Responsible or irresponsible. Now, once you decide if Lily is making a responsible or irresponsible choice, Make sure you write a sentence explaining if it is responsible or irresponsible borrowing. Is it responsible or irresponsible? After you write a complete sentence and let your teacher know if she is being responsible or irresponsible, I want you to have your parents take a picture and send it to your teacher. Thank you very much.